Turn 132, April 17th, 1942. Let's see how much more damage Lodger can do to us. I ought to flip turns. This is basically, uh, um, uh, I don't know, a wimp fight, but unfortunately the, on the wimp fight, Japan has the bigger gun. Yep. About a three inch gun there. Hey, at least we fired back. Wow, 3% moonlight. Crappy conditions. Oh, here we go. A minesweeper versus a mine layer. <laughs> Night phase is over. We've got day phase with Coast Watcher here. Then we'll probably move into morning air phase. Seventy-five, one sixty-six. What's going on there? I just want to make a note of that. This report right here. That's a little odd for him. Come on, right down. Let's see. Speed 11, southeast. Okay. I want to make sure I take a look at that. I'm going to sweep over Condamine. Condamin. Another sweep over our Light Horse Battalion. I don't think I ordered those guys there. If I didn't just wonder if I put them on ground attack and didn't declare a target for them, so they just picked one. Uh, let's see if anyone survives here. Oh, a lot of them did. Some decent AA, too. Remember, if these guys are troop ships or not. What's he doing way over here? Uh, Soryu's, Soryu's, Soryu's there. Bomb noise, but a torpedo hits. Gotta love it.
This could be a task force heading back home empty, or it could be full of troops. I'm hoping empty. Wow, he can miss. Here use here too. All right. Show I have a bad feel I have a bad feeling about this. I hope this isn't my, one of my marine regiments. feeling it is. Well, I can't stand watching anymore. Let's see how bad it hurts. Alright, here comes the bad news. Oh no! No men! Okay. Two, four, six, seven. We lost seven AKs, but no men, so it was not one of my marine units. Okay. Oh. Who's he attacking now? They'll say there's no one there. All right, that was the morning phase. Pretty exciting for the Japanese. He has what looks like three carriers way far to the east. The pounding on Banduing for once. Yeah, clear skies. Only wow, only four hits. Wow. All right, that's fourteen total hits. All right, 
And that's the afternoon phase. Only thing we got, we got left is going to be the ground combat. Yep, I mean minimal losses here, if any. Yep, none. Same here. Oh, attacking a Columbo. One, two, three full divisions. One, two, three regiments. And some artillery. Alright, boys, let's hope we can hold. What do we got here? This, These two Indian brigades are, are our biggest. So we lost somebody. Alright, you got two to one on us. He lost 5,000, we lost 1,200. Yeah, we definitely lost a unit. A barman at Bandowing. Still has five divisions there. I don't know why Bandowing's not worth five divisions. I'd leave like one or two there and get those divisions somewhere else. Up another attack down here on the North Island. We're whittling those guys away, but they are resisting. All right, we're doing a shock attack on this Naval Guard unit. 22 to one odds, nice. Another 30 squads disabled. He can't have much left. That's, that's not dis disabled. Here's my shock attack here, trying to get some of these two little small units destroyed. Alright, that'll be the turn. We're going to expand some bases, then do some production. And then we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, come back and go through the after action. And figure out what we're going to do about those carriers way in the south southeast Pacific. Want we'll to see where they where they actually are and relative to where I have shipping. Alrighty, well, not a horrible turn, a pretty good turn for the Japanese Navy though. But let's go ahead and go over some stats here. Point-wise, Japan went up 402 points. We went up 8. Um, let's see. In the air, we lost 6 in air-to-air. -air, 1 to Flak, 2 to Ops. <coughs> he lost 3 to Ops. Oh, that kind of crap. That kind of sucks. Let's see. We lost 9 Hudson. He lost 2 Nails and a Tina. All right, well, that's pretty much all the planes that were lost. Last turn we went over incoming reinforcements, so no point to go do over it this turn as well. Let's go right to Combat re Reporter. At sea, we had a surface engagement off the coast of Townsville. Um, a PB versus an AM. We took one shell hit. We did fire back for once. We missed, but then this, then we separated. Then a little bit farther away, we had an encounter with an AMC with our same AM, and they just decided not 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 to fight at all. On the ground, there were several combats. We had an Allied shock attack here at Condamine, where I'm trying to, to kill this uh, naval guard unit with all my well, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to call them tanks yet, but they're fighting vehicles of some sort. He attacked at Colombo, knocked down the forts, and almost took 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 the base. Um, we did inflict five thousand casualties on him in in return for twelve hundred of our own. So I think he's a lot closer to taking the base than 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 he knows. At Bandowing, he bombarded for no damage. Up in the mountains in China, he bombarded several different places. Here, here. 
for no damage down in the North Island of New Zealand. He attacked, got one-to-one -one odds. We lost some more casualties there, but the New, New Zealanders are holding on. And we shock attacked his troops near Kui Yang. Um, we took 800 casualties. Basically, we're trying to kill these two Chinese corps that are beat to hell. Pretty much worthless. It'd be easier to get them killed and let them reconstitute on their own than trying to bring them back and let them um, waste supply in that to, to rebuild. Right now in China, supply is my biggest adversary. In the air, not a whole lot was going on. Here he, here's, he has at least three carriers here. The Soryu, the, the Soryu, the Hiryu, and probably the, the, uh, the uh, Hosho. Unless he just moved the Hosho air group over to one, uh, one of these, these uh, carriers. He caught seven of my AKs. Either, I don't believe they were carrying fuel. Um, they may have been carrying supplies, but they were probably just heading back north, uh, uh, empty from carrying troops down to the South Pacific. At Condamine, he swept. Bandowing, he bombed the heck out of it. We'll see if he did any real damage. We flew some Hudgens up at Rockhampton, ran into some Zeros, got beat up some, but we did manage to bomb a, a little bit. He bombed our, our fighting vehicles at Condamine, not a whole lot of damage. And of course, he he swept and then bombed that light horse battalion trying to flee to Cow, Cow, Gordley. Signal intelligence, let's see. So we're uh, Russell, Batavia. Yep, nothing great. Right. Just taking a look and see if we can, you know, anything pops out. There's an AA unit at Perth. It's also 25th Army, yep. PG at Mapo, okay. Fifth Fleet is at Auckland. All right, nothing super crazy there. He's still playing an attack up in Calcutta. See, I think he's going to bring KB up and do another invasion on the on the south part of of of, uh, of uh, India. I still think he's going to do 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 that. All right, I got some some units to withdraw today. Probably air units. I'm going to make a note here. Withdraw air units. Because that's going to cost me 24 points a day if I don't get rid of them. Let's see. Wrote off some planes. Doesn't return. Transporting supplies. My new transports at Lido need to re need to repair from arriving on the train. So, let's see. Disperses. No supply. No supply. Groups for today. I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. VP 21, VP 22. I'll take a look at those as well. Task Force on and off map. Repairs, nothing's being repaired. There's our, we admitted losing all seven of those transports. Japanese. Well, that's, that's, we see, we built a fort at Alice Springs, an airfield at Port Augusta, and he built an airfield at Rockhampton. A couple of fleets low on fuel, close watchers, and a fighter unit arrived in eastern U.S. for the accelerated training, if it's not a myth. Let's go ahead and close that up. Come back here. We'll hop up to Cey Ceylon and take a look. Here's what we're looking at. Looks like he's bringing some more troops in. We got level two forts. All right, we got five, just over 500 assault value. Well, not, not bad. There's still de decent morale, fatigue, and, and, and disruption. So we might be able to hold another attack or two. It's hard, it's hard to say. I still think he's going to land. I don't know. He could come right in here and land. But he also could land here. That's a popular area here at Coronada or Visit Putnam. 
Those are undefeated, undefended bases. You know, they're small size and that, but they're out here in the middle. Pretty easy to get to. I don't think he's going to land like a Chittagong or anything and try to march all the way up to Calcutta and that. That's just a long march. But we, we will see. Take a look at Lido and see if any of my... Okay, we got about... Okay, 15 transports have been re repaired. We'll get those flying supply here. All right, Supply transport, you are gonna fly. Oh, you can you can fly right into Chengdu. Is that where the other ones are flying into? Nope, they're flying into into Su Su Young because they don't have the range, right? They only have a twelve range. What do these guys have? Twelve. Hmm. Might just be flying on there to reduce the the what the amount of losses. Yeah, see, they can't reach any, any anything further. All right. Let's see. We're gonna set ten percent to rest. We're gonna set all the C forty sevens at this base to there. All right. There we go. Those will start feeding supply right into the heart of China for us. Let's see. India and Burma is pretty nothing going on. Come down here, let's look at Banduing. Got 81% in level 3 forts. We got 700 of salt value. And we got 18,500 tons of supply. So we're still good. Maybe another month. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, we might as well try to get up there and kill ourselves. Does this guy have any attack value? Oh, he might. No, he doesn't. So we're just going to sit at this base and do nothing. All right. In the north here, nothing really going on. He took Klon Klon Curry last turn. The west, he is chasing us down. Trying to stop us from escaping. I don't know if we're going to be able to get away or not. These guys, uh, he's not going to get away. He probably won't either. He needs to go eight miles before this guy attacks, and I don't know if he'll make it on this rail track. I don't think he will. These guys, on the other hand, are moving pretty, pretty, pretty good. The Hanan Division might. No, he probably won't make it into here, but if we can get there before these guys, then we control the hex. Let's see, these guys are, uh, there's, they still have a lot of units, they're beat up, but we're hoping they can get, uh, how, I, I didn't look, uh, we are 11 miles in there, alright, we got some ships at Esperus who just need to refuel, and they did, let's get them out of here. The last of the ships in the area. All right, here on the east side. I see we got Palm Island left. That's our AM. Yeah, he ain't gonna make it anywhere. It's hoping to get some fuel, but does not look like we're gonna get any. All righty, what do we got here? This motor brigade. Is not moving. He should have. Oh, he may have just moved up here. That's okay. We're going to leave him in move mode and tell him to get over here. These guys are all escaping. This guy is just sitting there. Let's see. How are we doing here? One unit is heavily disrupted. The rest are doing fine. That's the second of sixth. So we'll have him just do a deliberate attack. Everyone else will do a shock. No, you ain't doing anything here, my friend. Put you in combat mode and just let you sit here for a minute. Then we'll get you into on the trains and get you away south to safety. 
Alrighty. These guys are fleeing. We're dumping more supplies and such. Let's see what we've got there. Just some ships. We're bringing more supplies and such into Melbourne. Yep, there's another 17,000 tons of fuel. Alright, that guy's all done. Alright. You can see we have a bunch of task force coming in. We got troops. 50,000 fuel. That guy's leaving. Troops. Troops. Fuel. Fuel. So we got about 40. We got another 100,000 tons of fuel coming in. More troops. More fuel. More supplies. 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 Yeah, so we got a lot of... Our troops are almost there, which is good because I'm worried about them. And then we're followed by more fuel and 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 supply, which is ne which will never hurt. Got seventy three thousand fuel at at Melbourne, which is good. All right, we have arrived at Dunedin. We are unloading. All right, I'm gonna. Is there any of these dock? Yes. All right. We're going to put two in port and just let one sit here and, 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 and unload at a time because it will unload faster probably than the other than all three of them trying to unload at once. Does not seem like, does not seem that he has noticed we're here. So we might be able to unload all 15,000 tons of fuel here over the next four or five turns without any interruption, which will be nice. Did this guy move out of here yet? No, but he will move this turn. He should go all the way up to here to, to Blenheim. All right, we got a little resistance here. Just we're keeping the door open here in case he comes in, or at least we're trying to. All right, over here at Tahiti, nothing really going on because of the threat of carriers, but that has that has gone away because he's here. I'm guessing he has two to three carriers here. Well, I know he has two: the hear you and and the and the and the sore and the sore sore you, possibly the the Hosho as well. I gotta get this guy out of here. It's a EAB unit. Let him get him the heck away from those guys. Nothing else is really in range at the moment. This guy's going off map, so he'll be fine. If he wants to come up and tangle with Pearl, I got a ton of air aircraft here. I mean, he can he might be able to do some damage, but if he attacks Pearl, he's gonna take a ton of flak damage. I got a ton of ships at Pearl. A lot of them, um, a lot of them are undergoing refits. We got battleships still being repaired from those damn midget subs. Let's see, at Pearl, we got nothing going on. That's still the AE. Four more days to this guy arrives with some troops and tanks. He'll be heading off to Cape Town next. This guy has troops. Another Marine Regiment heading south. we got to be careful with him. We should be loading the last of the troops here at San Fran for this round. And just, just supplying everything in the north. Head over up into China. The north is still the same. He does not have any more troops in here yet. Who owns that hex? None of us. We arrived at the same time. All right. That's fine. I'm... I'm Let's see, do I want to leave or attack? Actually, I don't want to go west. I'm gonna, I want to head south. Both of these guys should head south. Let's leave them in combat mode and head south. Combat mode, head south in case he attacks. We won't get the penalty for being in move mode. If he keeps bombarding here, we're still holding pretty good. Yeah, morale's a little low on some of these guys, but really, what is it, 67, 43, a little low, yeah, but fatigue and disruption's good, supplies could definitely be, 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 be better, we have a couple units that have no supplies, we got some more reinforcements arriving at Kianko, so we can move them in and swap out some units for a little bit. All kinds of troops here, still stuck behind this line. We're trying to attack with them to get rid of them. 
I'm attacking here with some with these guys. Let's see. He probably won't be able to attack anymore. He cannot, but look at him. He is almost dead. He can attack again. This guy is not going to attack because he's sitting here defending this hex. Because we want to keep it open so we can move more, more men through it. This location, we're doing fine. Around a few of these units are, are low, but a lot of these units that are, that are real low are moving moving over to, to be killed off. He has a lot of attacks over here again, which is nice, because our men are trying to get over there to help. And that's about everything. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following the campaign along, but you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead. What, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and, and, and subscribe. And until we get another turn, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.